Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kami, and today we're going to be continuing our Let's Play series in the game Palea. If you're enjoying this series, please don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel for more gaming content. So, if I scroll down on my notes here, last time we did the Maji Market and we found all sorts of different hidden chests, the lost ribbons, and we even played the new Hot Pot mini game, which is an absolute blast. And one of the things I would like to do this round is I wanted to finish up the Maji Market, the storyline, and then maybe we'll work on some more friendship quests. I do want to kind of explore, see if we can buy anything. I have been kind of working a little bit offline, um, or I should say off camera to, um, get us some extra tickets so that way we weren't, uh, it, I'm sure it can get a little boring watching me play hot pot about, I don't know, a lot of times. So, so yeah, um, apparently our garden has not reset. Okay. But I thought with this time we would go around and we would try to complete the, the quest lines. So that's, that's kind of the big goal. And outside of the, that, the rest is going to be kind of gravy. So, looks like we don't really have much in the way of gardening to do. It's kind of sad. Kind of enjoy my time gardening. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put some uh, seeds away, I guess. We'll put away what we can. Do we have... Yep, we're, we're even good here. I mean, my goodness, we're doing... We're doing fairly well. Put some rice in here. Yep. We got our corn. I think we're good on corn. Yep. And I'm in. Is there anything else we need to make? Probably another carrot or two. Probably two carrots. So we'll put two in there. And then what else? I would like to look at this Napa cabbage and the bok choy seeds. I do want to try planting those in the garden. I was hoping we'd have a little bit more done here. That's okay. We may look at that next time, or, or I'll kind of give you guys the idea of what I'm thinking. Because I think it's going to be, we're going to have to figure something out. Do we have enough? Hmm. I know I've been putting things in the jammers, so we should have a lot, a lot of items here to sell. I do want to check one thing real quick, and that was our corn. I wanted to make sure we had enough. Is that corn? That was tomatoes, our tomato seeds. Yeah, we have enough tomato seeds. You know what? We are actually doing good. Huh, we're doing better than what I thought we were going to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put some potatoes in here. We'll get another round of that going. Um, let's do a round of blueberries since we have a whole bunch. And let's do a round of hmm, onions or corn or apples. We could do apples. Apples wouldn't be bad. Let's do apples. Okay. Let's sell what we have here. So I also figured out how to play Hot Pot a little bit better, and I'm excited to kind of explain that as well. So we got 15,000 gold, that'll bring us to 87. I think we will have enough to buy a couple items from the store, or from the uh, market. The big thing I'd like to get is the little dragon plushie. So I think we're going to try to do that as well. Alright, so we got some mail, one from Kenyatta, Dear Kami, hey! So, I know it doesn't seem like it, but my mom really respects you for some reason. Not that you're not worthy of respect, I just mean she can't bring herself to respect her own daughter, but she's totally cool confiding in a stranger. Whatever. If you could see me, I need some help with something that has to do with my mom. Sure. So that would be Esh. Zeki, we got a coin. Thank you. And Shane. Happy Luna New Year, Kikami. 
I would like to invite you to participate in our Lunar, Lunar New Year wish-making tradition. It is during this tradition that we inscribe wishes for the upcoming year on a wish ribbon, which we would then dye in the color corresponding to the type of wish we are making. Blue represents wishes representing luck, pink for longevity, and orange for prosperity. Once we have dyed our ribbons, we will hang them on our beloved wish tree in hopes that they will come true. I have attached a blank wish ribbon in this letter just for you. Please join me at the Maji Market tonight to make your wish. I hope to see you there, Shane. Okay, so we're going to get another wish ribbon. Looks like we're going to get one every time we, or every day that we log in. And by day, I mean it's going to be the 24-hour real-life day cycle versus the one-hour paleon day cycle. So let's talk to Zeki. I don't know why he's here. Um, we did do the story last time, and he didn't want to put a wish on a tree, so I'm curious to see why exactly he's here. I know we did find a wish eventually on the tree, so I'm wondering if this has something to do with that storyline. I am unironically pleased to see you. Hmm. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Well, you gonna hand it over or what? Hand what over? Hmm. Don't play dumb. You know what you stole. We didn't steal anything. Give me back my precious package and nobody gets hurt. It wasn't me, I swear. Mm. That's exactly what the culprit would say. You ain't helping your case here, buddy. Ooh, I wonder if this is part of Sub Subira's quest. Fine, I see how it is, pal. Oh. If you ain't gonna return my stolen package to me, I'm just going to have to get my paws on another one. Seki always finds a way. Thanks for the visit, pal. Huh? That's a little confusing. I know we have to become friends with Tamala as well. So maybe during the day while we're not doing the Maji Market, we do Tamala's quest, or we try to become friends with Tamala, and then we do more of her, her stuff, and then we'll do the Maji Market at night. And yeah, but I'd like to show you a couple of the things that we've won so far. I, like I said, I've been doing a little bit of this on our own. I have won some hot pot games. I have finally figured out how to play and how to win. <laughs> I know last stream we were trying to figure that out and I, I think we got it. And I, I still want to show that to you. But for winning seven of them, we did get the hot pot um, item there. And then... We also, for playing the game, we got the little plaques. So we got the blue one, the pink one, and the gold or orange one. And so I kind of moved them to the ha to the room here. And I put the banner underneath it. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then um, we also got all the hot pot. So I've been playing a lot of hot pot. The idea that I was thinking was to gain a bunch of tickets. And then we'll go and we'll buy things and we'll take a look at what it looks like in the place. That's kind of the thought right now. Um, we don't have any seeds going right now. We got two. What's this guy doing? Carrots. Mm. I think we need to get something else going here. I may grab this extra rice just to get rid of that. I do like the other... Hmm. We may wait on some of these other ones. All right. I do want to make sure we're producing things in our spare time as we're as we're moving around. So, that said, let's see. What does Tavala want this week? If I were to kind of look through the list. Hmm. Emerald carpet moss and a lunar fairy moth. We're gonna have to see what we can find. Well, I wonder how where we are on the friendship side with her. You gotta take a look at that as well. So, we'll take a look here. Let's see. Relationships. And Tamala will be kind of down here. We're close. We are really, really close. All right. Lunar Fairy Moth, which we can get at night. We're not gonna do that right now. So we're gonna have to go with the Emerald Carpet Moss. So let's go find our carpet moss. 
easy enough. We're gonna go to Zeki's shop. We're gonna buy a uh, some items there. We'll talk to all the villagers at the market. And then, yeah. We're gonna kinda make our way through the town. Maybe we continue our furniture, bug catching. Let's see, what do we have to do as far as... We do have to do some more cooking. Okay. We have to do definitely a lot more bug catching. And some hunting. And then we'll have all of our skills maxed out. Which isn't too bad. I do want to make sure we max out our skills, max out our friendships. Kinda want to play with romances. Maybe, maybe not. And I think the, uh, as far as the romances go, we gotta decide who we're gonna romance. Do we do them all? I'm half thinking we do them all. Because what I'd like to do is see all the different, um, that's an odd looking rock. Sorry. Um, what I'd like to do is kind of get all the different quest lines. I kind of want to see what they are. Now I kind of feel bad romancing all of them, I'm not gonna lie. Because, hmm, yeah, but at the same time, it's also, you know, it's not a bad, I would like to see all the storylines. Let's just say we, we want to see all the storylines. And so that's what I think, I think that's where that's going to go. Um, yeah. Oh, what was it, star quality? Do we get the star quality or do we wait? Let's wait. We're gonna... We are definitely going to... Um... We're gonna go to Bahari Bay. We're gonna find Tamala. We're gonna deliver some carpet moss to her. She's gonna be happy. So excited. <laughs> and we're gonna be friends. We're gonna be besties. Besties with Tamala. Here we go. Then maybe we'll hunt. We'll do a little hunting along the way. We have 80 arrows here waiting for us. That should help level that up. Maybe we'll drink one of these hot pots. And then uh, at the Maji Market, we'll make another wish on the tree. Debating what we want to do. Oops. Yeah, I'll wait. I do want to see if we can catch any rare bugs over on the Bahari side. And yeah, we're just kind of continuing our our adventure. We got this, right? I do like the new uh, ginger and spring onions. Oh, I want to show you something else. I discovered something else while we were, um, or while I was doing the market and going back and forth between, you know, home and the market and all the stuff. I, I kind of found something that was kind of interesting. Actually, a couple things. Unable to connect. Uh oh. Hold on. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? That's not fun. Look at this. Let's let's try this again. That was odd. Tell me you like me. There we go. No idea what that error was about. <laughs> that was a little weird. Oh, we got people looking at I don't know what. I wonder what they're waiting for. Huh. It's a little odd. Nothing good here. I am looking for the rainbow, a star quality rainbow tipped butterfly. I know that's a lot to ask. A rainbow tip butterfly in its own right is a lot to ask. But a star quality one? Whew. 
I know it's asking for a lot, but maybe we can find some. What's this guy? That is a grasshopper. <laughs> that is not what we want. There's a regular butterfly. Another grasshopper. We got a lot of butterflies. None in the type that we want. I am going to mine some iron ore while we are here. Just because we need some. Don't think we need that guy. I'm trying to finish up the kill him a bug catcher. The uh, star quality bug catching. That's, that's kind of why I'm looking and why I'm waiting around. We're going after achievements. We've made it to the achievement phase, which is good. There we go. Nope. And if we see one, great. If not, that's cool too. No big deal. But we are looking. Tamala. We, we got to talk to Tamala yet. She's probably sleeping right now. She's probably going to be sleeping for a while. I hope the menu... Oh, I guess... Uh, sorry, I was reading chat there. Let's see. Is Tamala sleeping? My bet is yes. Yep. She'll be sleeping for probably a couple more hours. So we got a little bit of time. Got time to explore, time to check things out. Maybe time to hunt? I don't know. We'll kind of run around, see what we get. See regular butterflies. I am looking for the star quality. mushrooms and the sweet leaf on the way just because I like putting them into the worm bin maybe not the best thing whoa hello chat what are you doing he's acting weird do we have one of those bugs maybe we'll catch some more bugs while we're at it we could use the silk. No, nope, that one didn't give us silk either. Oh man, what a bust. Maybe we will hunt? Probably get some uh, focus going, especially if we're gonna hunt. But I also plan on gathering. We're gonna gather a little bit along the way. Maybe we'll wait. There we go. We got a garnet. A rock always helps. Lots of things to hunt. Ooh, is that a star? No, it's a regular. All right, let's do this. Oh, I got that one. Look at one of these. Eventually. Right. That one. Got 
one. Okay. Oh, we got some chocolate. Take what we can get. Nope. There's a deer. Nah. We're not going to waste too many arrows on a deer. Let's continue our gathering, I guess. Oh, there's a... Uh... There you go. I got that one. Wasn't too bad. Got a fur and a mane. We'll continue our little gathery quest. We will gather more um, iron. I do want to finish all the furniture items. I think that would be fun. That would actually be really fun to do. And let's see, to help us level up, I think I'm going to eat a hot pot, which is 500 focus. Should be good. We are going to grab our bow. I suppose. Look at that one over there. That'll be a good one. Can we get one of these. Yep, got one. Get the other one here. Go collect. There we go. Can we get this one? Oh, no. Maybe. There we go. We're getting better at this. Slowly but surely, we are getting better. I do plan on continuing to collect. Oh, cool. I'll take it. We'll level up our hunting one way or another. Little bits at a time, right? That's all we can do. Tamala should be waking up soon. So we can start heading that direction. We'll kind of wander around here and see what we got. Oh, now this is new. That was always closed. Guys, have you guys seen this? This area here, remember? We had a uh, chest up at the top. This area here has been closed for quite some time. We got a new fast travel. I don't know where we are. Oops, nope, we don't want to do that. We're not going to fast travel from here. But check this out. We got a new mine. Huh, can we go up? Nope, doesn't look like it. Just in case, you never know when you can climb a wall. Huh. Well, that's new. There's also one in your uh, home instance as well. That was the other thing I wanted to show you. That was actually my surprise. They, they killed my surprise. They built a uh, mine over in the home area. I was so excited to show, a, show it off because that's what I discovered when I was um, running back and forth between my place and the, the Maji Market and getting everything done. Nope. I don't think we're going to get that one. That's okay. Can we get this one? Nope. Oh, maybe? Nope. There we go. We got one. <laughs> Look at a little bit. A little bit each time, right? It's the only thing you can do. Nope. 
All right, we gotta, we're heading over to Titamala's. That's where we're going. The butterfly is the star quality. Bummer. Where are we? See, I thought this here would be a new um, gate or a place for us to go. Where are we? Where is this? Yeah, this is right here. It's interesting that they put the fast travel right there. There's a mine. The road's going there. And we got this one right here with this gate. There's not much really here. I thought this one was interesting as well. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see if we get more zones. They said we might this year. Or I did read that in um, some of the notes or the plans for for 2024. So they are expecting a new zone. The question is where and what is it going to be? Personally, I hope it's the Elder Woods. Because they talk about the beast in the beast of the Elder Woods, and I kind of want to see where that there, goes. Darling. All right, Tamala. Every time I see your face anew, I feel like we are meeting for the first time. Oh. Did you know your people were said to have possessed great power? Tales tell that they could even defeat death, if you can believe it. I do. You know what? I got you some. If you see some emerald carpet moss, would you be a lamb and bring some back for me? It's used as a binding agent in many of my concoctions. Well, you know what? I got some for you. This delightful little mess of muck is just the thing I need for my latest concoction. You have my undying gratitude. And we did get the, uh, the um, um, new friendship. So we can ask, did you steal from the library? We can now com uh, complete. We can now move forward in Solari's um, quest line. So let's ask her. Why, darling, do I look like a thief? You wound me. I thought we were getting so close. But yes, of course I did. Solari makes us go through so much red tape for a little light reading, and I'm not interested in putting my name down in writing anywhere. Don't blame you. You can take it. I've already gotten what I wanted from it. I was going to slip it back in her stack soon anyways. Of course, I wonder why she's so eager to get it back. Perhaps your little librarian friend has some urgent use for it. Hmm. It isn't a particularly dangerous tome, unless, of course, you're trying to keep something hidden. Hmm. Make sure you head home early. Like I said, all of the characters, they aren't... They aren't all innocent when it comes to flow and flow usage. They all kind of toy with it kind of quietly behind each other's backs is there anything new since the other place is open i do want to see is there anything new in here and that answer is no <laughs> that was quick so we are going to continue our hunting quest even though we haven't really gotten much but that's okay do want to make sure we're keeping up Nope. I think I get better, more, um, the better arrows we get. Maybe we can get some better arrows soon. Mm, no, we don't need that. It's not a star quality. Nothing good up there. Just checking it out, seeing what we can see. Someone hanging out here. Ooh, there's Palium. We are going to get the Palium. Oh, I think they just got the Palium. I think we might have been a little late. Yep. They did. They just grabbed it. Crap. That's okay. It'll be okay. We'll grab it next time. No, I'm kidding. It'll be fine. I'm not worried. Not yet, at least. Unless everything all of a sudden decides to use Palium, I think we'll be okay for a little bit. We do have a little bit of a stash. We do need to get some of these deer, though. I do want to make sure we are leveling up our hunting. Maybe? Nope. Didn't get it that time.
There he is. We'll get it. There we go. Now we're using a lot of arrows for very little reward, it seems. It feels like. We're missing a lot, though. A lot of it is my fault. I know we're missing a lot. Uh, I don't want to go that way. I'm going to get to go... That's Tamala's more into the forest. This direction. I'm still looking for more Paleum. If we see it. As much as we did miss the one. As much as we're doing okay on our, on our supply. I do want to make sure we are... Uh, Not missing out on opportunities if they present themselves. If that makes sense. Hmm. Maybe we try this guy. Can we get him in one shot? No. Can we get you in one shot? No. You're going to take a few more. That's just that guy. Oh, I'm not chasing up a tree. Get one there. That'll be good. We'll chase these three around. I'm sure they'll bounce around quite a bit. What did we find here? Nope. Where's our loot bag? There he is. Haha. -ha. that one. There we go. Yeah. We'll just knock them around a little bit. There we go. One there. We will keep chasing. We'll eventually get our uh, hunting up. There's one. Here. There we go. Okay. We're getting there. There we go. And let's eat another hot pot. Grab this guy. I heard. There we go. This is what I saw. What was that? Not a star quality. I am still looking for star quality bugs. Well, that one's star quality. I thought that one was really anything to see that, but whatever. Make it work. Got one there. We're slowly getting there on the, uh... Oh. There we go. Maybe. Make this somewhat productive. We will finish leveling hunting today. <laughs> we have a goal. We're gonna do the uh, 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 Maji Market and then we're gonna finish level hunting. Let's do it. We need to do this stuff anyways. And I like grabbing all those. I do like picking up the mushrooms in the sweet leaf. I think it's important to gather as you go. 
You never know when you're gonna need this stuff. Let's see if there's any, um, Mujin. The wolves. Excuse me. Can we make it? Yeah, we make it. Got a chopper. There's a Mujin. Do we think that one is a... Yeah. There we go. We got one. Yeah, I'll take one. There we go. There we go. There's two. Three. Good. We'll level up every little bit that we can. So you gotta look at the eyes. Red eyes takes about two shots. Yellow eyes t only takes one. And then if they have like a blue mane on their heads, it looks like they, uh, those are the ones that disappear. So if you're unfamiliar with the Mujin and the different types, that's kind of how you can decipher or discern between them all. Oh, I don't think we got that one. Before they run into the tree, at least. Hmm. We're getting close. We're getting close to our one goal. One of our goals. Maybe? There we go. Oh, come on. Are we out of arrows? <gasps> We're out of arrows already. Man, that sucks. All right, so that means we definitely need to mine. We're going to need to make some more, some more stuff. It's okay. Easy enough, now that we know. And we are actually getting close to Mashi time. It's going to happen at 6 p.m. It is now about 4 p.m. Server time. Or Paleo time. So let's get these guys. Got our 15,000. Good. Let's get these guys in the, um, in the hopper. Yes, thank you. Go away. Thank you. <laughs> let's get this in the hopper. Let's put some stuff away. Let's grab our weeds out of our garden. Oops. Get some tomatoes in our pockets. <laughs> well, at least one. All right, let's put the tomato away. I will save the mains. Do we need... No, we don't need that. Okay, so that's getting sold. Ooh, save the star quality. Not in here, though. Hmm. Yeah, no. <laughs> we didn't get any heat root. No magic. Good stuff there. I'm okay with what we have here. All right, let's switch. Okay. We're gonna put that away. That away. That away. We're gonna sell all the hide. We'll save that. Save that. I am gonna put those away. This is getting sold. Those two are getting saved. The meat. Do we keep or sell the meat? There's a big question. We're getting really close on inventory space. That's getting sold. I think... Let's put our hides away. Let's make 50 of these. 20. Hmm. Put that away. Sell that. Okay. Yeah, we're getting real close on, uh... Oh! What's pickled corn doing in there? We don't want pickled corn in there. Sugar? 28 sugar? Wow. I don't know how we ended up with 28 sugar. Apparently we did, though. 
12 vinegars. Oh my goodness. Where did we end up with all of these extra? Did we really buy all that? I didn't think we did. But maybe. That's all of our other stuff. I know a lot of it is snowballs, which I'm half tempted to get rid of. If I'm being honest, 86 spice sprouts. Wow, we got a lot of spice sprouts. 25 and 20 mushrooms, 37 sweet leaf. A lot of wood. <laughs> okay. All right, we got a lot of stuff. I'm going to actually sell the Cernuck meat because we got 44 other stuff. All right. I think we're good there. What did we get here? Sabira. Dear Kami, I hope you have been well. I still have not forgotten your contributions to my last investigation. My superiors have entrusted me with a task I could use your cooperation with. Please meet me at your soonest convenience. Oh, I worry. I think that was Zeki's package. I hope not. Shane, happy Lunar New Year. Oh, good. We got another ticket. Like I said, I think that's happening every... Reset. I think reset happens at about 7 or 8 p.m. So you got an idea of what time it is over here. <laughs> That's okay. We're getting, we're, we're close to reset. So let's head over to the Maji Market. Oh, I should have sold that corn too. That's okay. We're going to go to the Maji Market and we're going to play some Hot Pot. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to explain the best way I can how um, how to actually win a game of Hot Pot. Because I think uh, that's kind of important. I am gonna pick up the spring onions along the way. So, and then I'll show you, once we get in there, I'll show you how many tickets we have. We're close to being able to buy all the recipes. Or at least all of the, um, I think we can get all the wallpapers. So maybe we make all the wallpapers, or maybe we go for all the recipes. I don't know. We're getting close. Either way, we're close. So, we gotta check it out. If we do well here, we, we might be able to pick up a little bit more. But I gotta check in, once we get in there, I gotta check and see where we're at. I do want to make sure we jump into a game of Hot Pot relatively quick. So. It should be starting here shortly. Here we go. And yep, everyone's just starting. Looks like we got quite a crew there. We are going to... Actually, we need to finish our story. We'll do some of the story, and then we'll play Hot Pot. Or we play Hot Pot first, and I explain it, and... Yeah, let's grab a game of Hot Pot. There's three, four. Okay. So, with Hot Pot, what you're looking for is... Three? Here. So you're looking to make three of a, three sets of three. And so the trick is, is you can make three sets of all of the same type. So like this is two of the same type, or you can make a set of three with the same color. I'm gonna grab the noodles because we do have a noodle here. If you go with the same color, they can't be the same item. They have to be different items. So that's kind of the trick. That's what I didn't understand last time. And so if you get four of a kind, it doesn't help. You really want three. So that's that's kind of where, how this game works. Now, as you can tell, there's eight cards here. Your ninth card is whatever you draw. So see if I get this, we kind of messed that up. We're gonna go with, so we got two, um, I'm trying to talk while watching the game as well. So you can see we have two heat roots, two noodles, we got, we got a spot to get rid of a, a noodle or a thing. Mm, here we go. So we got our three meats. That's good. We got a spot here for a noodle or a root. And then we're just looking for either a noodle or a um, spice sprout. 
root. Spice sprout. That's what I meant to say. And I don't see any of those. We're going to try to draw. And we don't have any, so we're going to discard. Don't see any there. Come on, Noodle. Come on. Heat root. <laughs> None here. Nope. Wrong type of Noodle. So if we put that in there, we wouldn't have three different types. Actually, we could, but we don't. And as you can see, it goes around in a circle. So it's this player's turn. Now it's ours. So we're going to grab. We got mushrooms. We don't need a mushroom. This player's turn. I hope that helped. That's kind of what I didn't understand next time. Okay, so we did get a spice sprout. So unless someone takes that sprout, that sprout can be ours. Nope, that sprout is definitely ours. So now all we need to do to win is to get one of these little wavy noodles. Come on, wavy noodle. And then we got it. Three sets of three like this is actually a little bit harder than the other sets, I think. Nope, not the kind of noodle we need. Nope, and we did not win. Someone else beat us to it. And so to win, you have to get there before all the other players. We'll play one more round. I do love this mini game. I would love to have this mini game on my home plot, but yeah. After this mini game, after this round, we will, well, hopefully we get one more player. If we do, we can start right away. Nope. Looks like people are leaving. We're going to head out. We're going to... Oh, two? Nope. Alright. We're going to continue our quest. We need to continue the quest. And we got to make a wish. So let's talk to Shane. Always good to have your wisdom. The dragon is everywhere you look. If you don't see him, don't stop looking. Hey, I've collected all the wish papers. If you remember from last time, there was big strong wind and it blew off some of the wish papers around the place. And in our last episode, right before we logged off, we did manage to collect all the papers. So we're going to let them know. Oh, wonderful. Did you happen to read what was written on them by any chance? We did not. We'll say it felt wrong to look. That is understandable. In Maji tradition, wishes are meant to be shared with and often fulfilled by one another. Wish fulfillment is an act of unconditional kindness to someone. Aww. Maji is not the only one with the power to grant wishes. We too have the ability. In any case, I cannot thank you enough for your help, Phoenix's child. If it's all right, I would like to request your assistance with another task. How can I help? The incident with the toppling wish papers occurred in the dark of night after I had already departed from my post at the wish tree. I did not witness what happened, but it's possible someone else did. If we learn how the incident occurred, we can find a way to prevent it from happening again. Could I trouble you to ask around and see what you can find out? Of course. When I was just a boy, my fathers brought me to the Luna New Year Festival, not unlike this one. I remember being awe-inspired by all the sights, smells, and sounds. I was simply bursting with excitement. The three of us spent hours celebrating together, going well past my bedtime. I remember feeling like such a rebel because of that. <laughs> Make sure you take some time to rest. Will do. Alright. So let's see. We can do we did yellow or orange last time. Let's do a luck wish paper. So we're gonna do blue. We're going to dye a ribbon, and we are going to turn it in. And there we go. I like how it changes every time. <laughs> and I do love the animation. Can we do a second one? We could? 
Return with a dyed wish. I guess we have two. I guess we could do a red one, right? Might as well see what all three of them do, or pink. Let's put another one out. Let's see what we get. All right, we've See, made three wishes. Always brings oh, peace shoot. To I didn't want to do that. Oh, there were several people at the Maji Market when the wish papers fell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The vendors, namely the vendors, along with the event host, Ash and Kenley. Among them, at least one of them have witnessed what happened. Okay. All things in balance, my friend. Nice. All right, let's talk to Zeki. Another day, another chance for freedom. What do you want? Hey, did you uh, see what happened with the wish tree? Uh, the wish tree? What's that? Uh, I didn't see a single thing. Sorry, pal. I hope you're not mad at us. Every once in a while, I'll glance over at the Chapa hut just to see what Kenyatta's scowling about. Sometimes she'll be frowning at her mom as she walks by. Other times she'll catch her making a face at her own reflection. I'll catch her making a face at her own reflection. Needless to say, she can't stand the sight of herself in that Chapa onesie. I think it's cute, though. Think Jill would tailor me one if I asked? <laughs> we should get matching ones. Yeah. We should. Then you can get your friends to wear onesies, too, and they'll all get their friends, too. And then we'll all make the Maji Market by storm. We'll take the Maji Market by storm. I think we should. I love that idea. Wouldn't that be a sight to behold? It would. Oh, we totally gotta need to do that. We gotta to get Jell. Jell, we got a plan. Kenyatta. Do you know what my dad actually does all day? Are you just going to stand there staring at me? Or did you have something to say? Did you happen to s Did you see what happened with the wish tree? Blech. I've been too annoyed about wearing this awful costume to care about anything else. You have no idea how itchy and sweaty this thing gets. Mm -hmm. Wait. Actually, I remember hearing these super high-pitched screams as we were closing up the booth for the night. I looked up and saw someone running from the fairgrounds. Uh-oh. I would have guessed it was the Bahari Ripper, but I doubt he's got fluffy ears. Uh-oh. <laughs> I really did outdid myself with the wish I made this year. It's just so me. <laughs> the pirate. It'd be nice if it came true, though. It'd make for an interesting story to tell next Lunar New Year. Sucks to be me. Oh, no it don't. Let's see, who else? Let's talk to Kenley. How's Kenley now? Wonderful to see you again. Oh good, it's you. I was afraid you were Ash. Did you see what happened with the wish tree? I've seen many things happen with the wish tree. What exactly are you referring to? Did you see any wish papers fall off? Huh? Did I? Hmm, I may have. Oh, there was that one incident. Yes, my memory is returning to me now. It was late at night and everyone was preparing to leave the market. That's when I saw a shadowy figure sneaking towards the tree. Seeing them slinking through the fairgrounds gave me such a fright that I let out a cry and crumpled to the ground. When I regained my consciousness, the figure was gone. I'm certain the direction they originally came from was near Zeki's prize wheel. Uh-oh. I get the feeling that you have a fire-type personality. For you, life is an adventure that you embrace with open arms. That's an admirable trace to have. Trait to have. I suppose I could get back to work. Breath, did you Good see to anything? See you again. What's up? Did you see what happened with the wish tree? Hmm. Maybe. I'll tell you what I saw, but only if you tell me what you think about my Luna New Year dishes. Ah, they're all great. Why isn't lettuce soup on the menu? <laughs> we'll tell them they're all great. Now that's what I want to hear. Have you tried my ba ban chung yet? It's so good. I'm a sucker for anything made with gluttonous rice, to be honest. So, about the wish tree. Yeah, now that I think of it, I did see something. I remember hearing a loud noise, and when I looked up, I saw a bunch of wish papers flying all over the place. Hmm. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure I saw Zeki running from the scene. I don't know if he had anything to do with that, but he definitely had a front row seat to it. 
One of my first Lunar New Year memories was sitting around the table, enjoying hot pot with my family and watching the fireworks together afterwards. You can probably guess what the hot pot but the hot pot came out perfectly. That's what happens when you got a soup master like me adding to it. <laughs> yep. If you grow any extra wheat, you could use some more. So many things you can make with it. Noodles, bread, cake. What can't it do? Rescue a kid from the bottom of, of a well, probably, but I wouldn't rule it out. All right. Break's over. All right. And let's see who else is here. Let's talk to Ash. What does Ash know? I do what I can, but I am only one woman. It's nice of you to stop by. Did you see what happened with the wish tree? Ooh. Are you referring to that incident as we were closing up the market for the day? Then yes, I did happen to witness something. There was a deafening racket by the tree, and I looked over just in time to see several wish papers toppling off the branches. I am quite sure I saw a certain silver tongue salesman fleeing from the scene, and yes, the one with fur. Some days, I very dearly regret my marriage to Kenley. Oh, because I made a commitment to him. A good Marjorie is nothing if she can't stick by her commitments. Best you remember that if you want to fully integrate with our society. Okay. <sighs> I need to go fill out a noise complaint. I feel like we got two things at once there. These days I see you more than me own boys. Uh-oh. Glad you stopped by. Always happy to see a friendly face around these parts. Must say Kenley wanted to apologize to you. This was in regards to the selling of the, or the eviction of the farm quest. And, um... She ended up having a paper saying that their rent was um, grandfathered. This was goes back to like the saving the Daya family farm, if you catch that episode. Anyways, Kenley wanted to apologize to you. For nearly getting me family kicked off our own land? Yes, I know. He stopped me earlier to say sorry for all the trouble. The poor man looked like he was going to cry the entire time. I told him I wasn't going to hold him against him since I know he was just following orders. But he invited me and Bedrew over to his estate for dinner next week. I'm going to surprise him with a crate full of the award-winning jam. Aw, that's awfully nice. Hey, did you see what happened with the wish tree? Oh. I was getting ready to head home when I saw Zeki sneaking off to the wish tree. He and Kenley must have gotten into it at some point. Don't know what they're yelling about, but one of them ended up knocking some wishes off the tree. Uh-oh. It's nice having a booth right across from Hodari and Azuma. They aren't in town very often, much less together, so it's great getting to see them. Azuma's a wee bit shy, but she's a real sweetheart. Well-mannered, too. Her dad did a good job raising her. Honey looks up to you. Make sure to set a good example now. Will do. Not a lot of folks come around these parts. Yeah? Did you see what happened with the wish tree? Heard a big commotion by the tree when me and Najuma were closing up for the night. Don't know what happened, but it had Zeki running off with his fur standing on end. That's our second time running a booth at the Maji Market. First one must have done pretty well if they've upgraded it this much. Can't say I hate the changes. Awesome. Max killing me. Okay. Gotta go. Najuma, what did you see? It's kind of nice seeing more people around here. Did you see what happened with the wish tree? I, I didn't see anything, I swear. Okay, I saw all of it, but I'd rather not tell you. I don't want Zek, I mean anyone, to get in trouble. So sorry. Ani keeps bragging to me that he found a secret hiding spot around here. Apparently, it's a good place to set off fireworks and people watch. Could be anywhere, though. If you follow him around for a bit, you'll probably end up finding it. Really? Next time we're gonna follow Ani. Maybe we'll find this uh, secret place. Alright, we're gonna grab this. Might as well participate. We do have to talk to Shane, though. We gotta tell him what we found out. Here, we'll get some down here. Oh, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll get this one. Do, 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 do. 
I'll tell you what, this song's kind of addictive. <laughs> get a couple. Add to our uh, total here. Maybe? Oh, no. Man, there's a lot of people playing tonight. Maybe we'll get lucky over here. Yes. There we go. Definitely do this. <laughs> see, can we make it to ten? I think we'll make it to ten. Maybe we'll get lucky. There it is. I heard him. Alright, let's go talk to Shane. That's gonna end in 10 seconds anyways. We're gonna wait for this here. Eh, cause it's just gonna pop up. Maybe we won't. There it is. I didn't want that to pop up in the middle of us, uh, talking to Shane. Ah, oh, the dragon smiles on us today. How kind of you to pay me a visit. So, everyone saw Zeki by the wish tree. Hmm, I see. If Zeki was there, he must have some valuable information as to what transpired. Perhaps you could talk to him and see what he knows. We'll try. Alright, we'll give it a try. Hey Zeki, do you know what's going on? Oh, if it isn't Killam's newest entrepreneur. What do you want? About the incident with the wish tree? Yeah, what about it? I told you I didn't see anything, so... Everyone says they saw you there when it happened. <laughs> what a load of Ormu dung. I wasn't there. Okay, maybe I was. And maybe I saw those wishes toppling off the tree, too. Can you tell me what you know? Or the suspense is killing me. All right, I confess, it was me. I was the one who knocked those wishes off the tree. Blame Kenley. He was the one who made me do it. Somehow it's always his fault. No, we won't say that. <laughs> Kenley's sneakier than I thought. Don't underestimate him. He may seem like a friendly chap, but he's sneakier than those pesky little choppas. I was heading out for the day when Kenley came out of nowhere. Just about scared the pants out right off of me. Oh no. Love a face. <laughs> he screamed, so I screamed too and jumped right up. Fur standing on end. Must have ac accidentally knocked off some of those wishes off the tree in the process. You must have jumped really high then. Yeah. Oh, I sure did. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen a scared grimalkin. But when someone gives us a fright, we let out a mean yowl and jump up sky high. I'm talking two or three times our height kind of high. That's what I get for trying to sneak a peek at the wishes. I guess curiosity really did kill the cat. I thought you weren't interested in wishes. I still ain't. I was just curious what other folks were wishing for. Some business purposes, obviously. For business purposes, obviously. Hopefully, causing that little mishap with the tree doesn't mean my luck is going to be bad this coming year. Not that I've ever been the luckiest guy around town. Oh, I guess if I had to wish for something, I'd ask for more luck. Aww, <sighs> oh, what's wrong? 
Uh, nothing really. Talking about all this wish stuff just reminds me of the good old days before I went off on my own. I wonder how everyone's doing. Well, I'd love to chit chat with you longer, but I've got stuff to do and I'm sure you do too. You have my permission to tell old Shane what really happened with the wish tree. I'm sure he'd want to know. See you around, pal. It's okay. That's enough jabber for now. <laughs> All right. Aww. Hey, Shane, we figured it out. Margie appreciates your devotion. How kind of you to pay me a visit. Tell Shane what happened with the wish tree. Hmm. Ah, I had a feeling what happened with the wish tree was simply an accident. I hope Seki does not blame himself for it. Did you speak about anything else? Talk about wishes remaining reminds him of the good old days. Oh. Celebrations like these tend to resurface past memories for many, myself included. Every Luna New Year, I'm reminded of the first time I participated in the tradition of wishmaking. Hmm. I remember being a young boy and attending a Luna New Year festival with my fathers. They had a grand wish tree not unlike the one we have here. I vividly recall the delight I had when I dipped my wish paper in the dye and the joy of being lifted onto my papa's shoulders so I could hang my wish on the tree. The more time passes, the more dear those memories become. Perhaps Zeki, Zeki is reflecting on his past in a similar way. Hmm. We should cheer him up. While I would like to do the same, we should refrain from acting in haste. I have a feeling Zeki will open up with time. Let us be patient until then. And you, Phoenix's child, how are you liking the Lunar New Year festivities, festivities so far? I'm having a blast. <coughs> Excuse me. That warms my heart to hear. Excuse me, one second. Oi, I'm sorry. How you enjoy the festivities is entirely up to you. Just know that I'm here if you need me. I cannot thank you enough for your help. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. All right. While Tao and Hassan are not at the Maji market with us, they did make their wishes for the year. Tao was especially enthusiastic about Hassan writing and hanging his wish on the tree on his behalf. Once the deed was done, a burst of energy overtook Tao and carried him up the hills and down the fur furthest corners of the dock. Hassan pursued him all the while, fearful he would create a mess, but it was quite a sight to behold. I bet it was. May the dragon smile on you always. Oh, thank you. Look at all these. All the wishes. You wish. But Drew, this coming year, I wish for double our harvest. It's about time we beat our personal record. <laughs> you know what? I hope that comes true for you. I really do. Ash. I hope that next year is a prosperous one for Kilima. Perhaps a Bahari Times article singing praises for our Maji market would help with that. Aww. Ani. All I wish for this year is to grow two inches taller. Soon enough, Nio is going to be asking me for help getting stuff from the top shelf. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So let's take a look at how many tickets we have. We have 29,633. So I was doing some adding. We can spend 12K on wallpaper, or we can spend 24,000 on cooking. We would need 36 to get everything, or all the recipes at least. And I'd like to work on the recipes first. The other thing is the events. Let's look at our stamp cards. Big spender, we can easily get that done. Eight, 10. Yeah, we can get that done very, very easily once we decide what we're going to buy. We can do Zeki's prize wheel. We do have to work on that. Looks like we need 15 times. And these two are kind of connected. That's actually kind of nice. The blue ornament, the pink ornament, and the gold ornament. Maybe we start working towards the ornaments next. And we need to make a total of five wishes. We did do two. Really? Oh, three. Okay, you made three wishes. Two out of five. That's interesting. I'm surprised that doesn't say three. A little curious what's going on there. And complete the festival quest year to remember. Year to remember. 
So I think we're going to get the next bit of the uh, quest pretty soon here. If we take another look here, quest, events, yeah. New Year, wishes in the wind, that's what we just completed. I think we might get something in the mail next. So we're going to check that out. And in the meantime, I think we're going to look at some of the friendship quests we have. We do have to make some more, um, we need to make some more arrows so we can complete our hunting goal. We do have a hunting goal today. Get to level 10. So we are going to make a few more arrows. Then maybe we'll head out and we'll start working towards our goal. And then we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with all this stuff. We've gathered a lot of stuff. We could make another chest. Probably not the worst idea for us. Okay. Definitely not the worst idea. Might be something we wanna consider doing. Is that garlic? That is garlic. We're gonna grab some garlic. Just because we don't get too much garlic too often. All right, I think we're good. And we gotta sell that corn. We forgot to sell the corn last time. So we're gonna take a... I'm gonna go do that as well. Actually, you know what? We may save the corn to eat it. We need something for focus. That's not a bad... Let's see how much focus it gives. Oh, there's Hodari. How much focus does the corn give us? Oh, yeah. A little too soon. Come on. Here we go. 180 apiece. Oof. We're gonna have to eat a lot of corn. But it's better than eating hot pot and soup. Maybe we will save it. All right, Hodari, you're going to have to wait a quick second. We're going to take care of these weeds. Maybe. We'll take care of the garden towards the end, I think. I want to put this, this, and this away. Okay. Hmm, excuse me. All right, Hodari, what's up? Good to see you. Got some time? We do. Going to have to impose, even if you don't. Gonna have to impose even if you don't. It's about Najuma. <gasps> Is she okay? I honestly don't know. This time she's gone too far. Last night, a pile of dynamite went missing from the storage shed. Only me and Najuma have keys for it. I thought she could handle the responsibility, but... Taking a box of explosive? Explosives? What is she thinking? Maybe it was a ghost. Now, they ain't time for jokes, Kikami. I already tried to talk to her about it, but she ain't saying anything to me. I ain't even mad. Not really. Just want her to be okay, but she won't talk to me. I know I ain't the father she wants, but I'm the only one she's got. And I won't lose her like we lost Letta. Can you talk to her? Maybe if someone outside of all this approaches her, she'll see more some sense. <sighs> I'll do my best. That's all I'm asking for. Okay, big family blow up. Don't uh -oh. be a stranger. We won't. I don't know about that. Let's check the mail here. Seki. Oh, hey pal, something real fishy is going on and I need your help figuring it all out. Meet me at the market and I'll tell you what the deal is. Seki, okay. I knew we were going to get another quest. And then Jell. Oh, this is Jell's friendship quest. The cost of beauty. Dear Kikami, what have you done? 
That skin cream you gave me was dreadful. It gave me a horrible sensation up and down my arms that felt like spiders crawling on my skin. Shane called it being itchy. Regardless, the sensation kept me up all night. My suggestion is you follow up with the others you gave this concoction to. Who knows, they might be dead by now. Huh? Was that the stuff, um... I wonder if that's Tamala's skin cream stuff. That might be for Tamala. That may, may not be for gel. Uh, okay. I feel a little lost. I'll be honest. I feel a little lost. Oh, we gotta search, uh... Tamala's boudoir for Solari's missing tomes. We still have to become better friends with, um, Tamala. Uh, let's make some arrows. Before we head out to see Tamala, let's make some arrows. Because we're going to need at least a hundred. There we go. There. And are we good on bug stuff? Yes, we are good on bug stuff. Just need some arrows. Let's go. We'll head over to Bahari and then we will talk to Tamala. Let's see what her friendship quest is. Maybe we talk to the... Hmm. Real quick, I'm gonna check our quest. New Year Secrets Fashion Follow-Up. Talk to Jill in his workshop. All right, I think that's what we have to do next. I'm not talking to Spira just yet. And yeah, let's do fashion follow up. Let's talk to Jill. So I don't know where we're gonna find. Yeah. Just yeah. We should probably talk to everyone else as well. We do need to buy something from uh, Zekiet for our coin for the day. Is Jell up? He's sleeping. No, oh, we'll wait for Jell to come down before we start bugging him. Let's go buy something from Zeki. Since we did just mention that. Uh, let's buy... We have a lot of sugar. We are buying sugar. Butter? Do we have a lot of butter? What about eggs? We got a butter. Purchase. Sure. Oops. We didn't want to do that. Can we get another bag? No. Nope. Is Jell down yet? It just says that he's there. Maybe we will go say hi to Jill. Jill, what you doing? I guess we'll come talk to you. Hey, buddy. Look at your room. My goodness. Check this out. Let's... Oh, I love the dress. Oh, that is actually really pretty. If it isn't one of my favorite humans... So here it is. The garment that I will finally earn me the right to stitch my family name into my clothes. Kenyatta's dress for the Har Bahari Bay Ball. I actually love it. I think it's gorgeous. Uh. I have to say, I've outdone myself this time. Those socialites will be thinking they stepped into an art gallery, not a mere dance. Mm. So, what do you think? It's perfect. Uh. Really? You think so? You don't find the colors too garish or the neckline too vulgar? No. 
Are you sure she can walk with the ridiculous train? I think she'll be good. Oh, what was I thinking when I created this gown? Have some confidence. I must tear it up and start over. You don't have to start over. Maybe just add something. Mm. You're right. Let me think what I can add. How about some piranha teeth around the neckline? That would look rather daring. Oh, dear. I'm doing something different than usual tonight. I'll be attending the Maji Market to celebrate the Lunar New Year. I hope to eat some delicious food and gain fresh new design inspiration while I'm at it. Let me know if you spot any dust gray swimming about. And he feels that their shade matches his color of his very soul. Dust grays, really? So much art, so little time. I do like that though. I think it's fine. It does not need shark teeth. Absolutely does not need shark teeth. All right. I thought we were doing Tamala's quest. Maybe we go talk to Tamala? Let's see, inventory, relationships. Well, let's say that Ash has something for us. Okay. Nishuma, Sabira. Maybe Sabira. Tamala. Hmm. I guess we will talk to Sabira. Kinda. You, you guys kind of know how I feel about her. <laughs> I think everyone knows how I feel about her by now. I, I totally wasn't sleeping. Funny seeing you here. Or not funny at all since you live here too. Oh. A chat? How exciting! What should we talk about in this little combo? This tete -tete, This meeting of the minds? If you're low on topics, might I suggest soup? <laughs> Little eyebrows, yeah. Soup. The only time Sifu isn't ordering meat, she orders tomato soup. Oh. Hey, I respect it. You know what you like and stick with it, right? You gotta go. Agreed. Uh, cooking emergency. Uh oh. All right, let's go see Sabira. Maybe she can help us with Tamala's quest. Remember we gave her the package that we found. I think Zeki was mad that we took it. We really don't know what Zeki's mad about, but we're gonna find out. Everyone feels at home in Pelia. You are just in time. You needed my help with something? Hmm. I have discovered the existence of an underground Grimalkin market here in Kilma Village. Uh-oh. She found the market. The market is undoubtedly linked to the illegal transactions occurring on the old trade routes in Bahari Bay. Oh no, not Zeki. We need to recover evidence that the Grimalkin cartel is selling flow to Majri Palians. <gasps> What's, let's ask her. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> uh, what's wrong with selling flow? Let, let's talk about this. The use of flow is outlawed in all jurisdictions of the Paleon Republic. Few Majri, aside from the Order, are allowed to wield it in any way. If the Grimalkin Cartel is selling any sort of flow-infused items to Majri Paleons, it's imperative that we halt their operations immediately and identify who it is that is receiving their parcels in Kilima. We are not taught. No, we're, we're, we're protecting Zeki. We need to seize any and all evidence of these transactions. What better way to do this than by infiltrating the market from the inside? Uh-oh. Are they really harming anyone? The cartel? Yes, it hired, it's hired help here in Kilima. Probably n It's hired help here in Kilima? Probably not. Either way, it's my duty to investigate this thoroughly. Find the underground market, obtain the trust of its operators, and infiltrate it to gather information about any illicit dealings. I have faith in you. I have faith you will retur not return empty-handed. Keikami, do not hesitate to reach out to me if you encounter any trouble. Uh, I still don't trust her. Seki is fine. We're going to protect Seki. We like Seki. I've been advised by Ashura that I should look into taking up a hobby while I'm here. I'm not so sure when I would find the time or what I would want to try. 
<laughs> you could get a library card. Working is a valid hobby. Learn how to do backflips. Competitive napping. Let's do competitive napping. I was not aware that counted as a hobby or that it could get competitive. I doubt I would be well suited to it. It's been a long couple of days. It'd be nice to rejuvenate myself with a Poke Bowl. Okay. Remember, the order works for you. No, I don't think it really does. I really don't trust her. Still don't trust her at all. We gotta warn Seki. Breath. Can we warn Breath? Get Breath? Try my world famous What's up? Oh, no. I got my hands full right now. What's our friendship like with Breath? I do want to level that up. It's close. Hmm. What can we bring Wrath? I know you wanted wheat and wild garlic. Ooh, do we have garlic on us still? No. We're gonna get some wheat and garlic for Wrath. We do want to level that up. We gotta warn Zeki though. Zeki, we gotta talk. Quick. What's happened? The more you spend, the more you get back. Trust me, that's just how the world works. Oh, hey, let's ask him. How did things go with the skin cream? Yeah. Ugh, I tried some of that cream. I got curious. I tried some of that cream. I got curious. It uh, turned part of my fur purple. I assume it was some sort of elaborate prank. <laughs> what part of your fur? That's a personal question that I uh, choose not to answer. Oh, no. <laughs> So we gotta talk to him about this underground market. Uh, what about it, pal? Interested in buying my wares? I got some squeaky clean new shipments in that you might like. Are you hiring? Hiring? Maybe. Oh, I don't wanna work for him. I wanna warn him. Why do you ask? Find yourself strapped for cash and need a little side hustle to keep yourself afloat? Uh, yeah, exactly. Huh, you don't say. Yeah. You're in luck, pal. I just so happen to need an extra hand. Contract work, obviously. You'll only be answering to me. No paperwork involved either. Sweet deal if you ask me. Uh. If you want to work for me, you're going to have to prove yourself first. Think of it as a little test of courage. <laughs> There's this magical draught Tamala's been working on. Something that heightens people's sense senses. Makes them have superior vision, hearing, and all that stuff. I've got a Link who would pay a premium for an enhancer like that. Get me one of those potions and you're hired. Oh, and this goes without saying, but that draught is highly illegal. Better make sure the magistrate doesn't catch you with it. I really owe you one for helping me out with the duplifier. The world's going to change for the better because of what you and me did, kid. You see? You'll see. Talk to you Seki. later. We, I, I love you. you. You can't. No. <sighs> Let's go talk to the... Who else do we have to talk to? Give the cream to... Zeki, Jell, Shuma, and Ken... Did Kenyatta get any of it? I don't know if Kenyatta got any. Kenyatta's got a quest. Let's talk to Kenyatta. Here to rescue me from my misery. Oh, that's the letter about Ash. All right, we're gonna wait. No, nope, back. Sucks to be me. We will wait on the letter for Ash, just because I want to make sure we got everyone else. Let's take a look. Maybe we can put the underground affairs cost of beauty. That's what I wanted to find out. A new year to remember. Let's take out Whale of a Tail. Let's put Cost of Beauty up. I don't want to do underground affairs, but maybe we'll do that as well. Let's Knowledge Sleuth. Yeah, Fishing for Answers. We're going to take this one off. And then we're going to grab... Wow. Oh, that's completed. We don't want... We don't care about completed. Let's see. Underground affairs. Yes. Okay, there we go. Cost of Beauty. 
Ask Ash. Oh, that's right. Ash got the cream. Let's talk to Ash. Oh, that's going to be funny. Where is she? Oh, she should be coming down here shortly. Maybe. There we go. There's Ash. I do what I can, but I am only one woman. Make it quick. How'd it go with that beauty cream? Ugh. Ugh. If the substance you gave me passes for beauty cream, I must question your standards of beauty. You look great. It's nice of you to pretend you don't notice the fact that my ears have gotten pointier. Mm. Ugh, pointy ears are so last season. How will my reputation ever recover? I can't let the Duchess see me like this. Tonight, the Maji Market opens its door to welcome everyone in for the Lunar New Year. Oh. As host of the event, I of course will be there. Mm -hmm. I expect to see your face among the crowd as well. Don't even think about missing such a momentous occasion. <sighs> I need to go fill out a noise complaint. Okay. Who else? Cost of beauty. Let's return back to Tamala. And then we gotta talk to her about the underground affairs. And we gotta... Once we finish... Cost of beauty. We got to search her boudoir for the missing tome. That's where we're at. We're going to grab some garlic. We'll give the garlic to Reth on the way back. I think he'll like that. And then we can uh, kind of kind of work on the next uh, set of that quest. Don't see anything good there. Looking for bugs. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Or anything fun to gather along the way. That's not too far. Alright. To Tamala. And then we got another Maji Market to check out. I really don't like doing this quest for Sabira, though. I feel kind of, I feel really slimy doing that. I feel like we should talk to Najuma while we're at it. That might get into... Hmm. This might get into... Not a lot of people come out this far. Oh, no. We're not going to do that. Escape. Can we get out? Sorry, I'm not really in the mood to talk right now. Maybe we can get out. Nope. Can't get out of the shoot. Alright, I guess we're going to do Hodari's quest as well. So, your dad sent me. Ugh, not you too. I already told him I didn't take the dynamite. What use would I have for it anyways? I can make my own explosives anytime I want. I agree. Then where did the dynamite go? Someone else took it or something else. You mean the ghost? Yeah. Exactly. It's the only thing that makes sense. Only Dad and I have a key only Dad and I have a key to the storage shed, and we locked up the explosives at the end of the day. There were no signs of a break in. That only leaves one choice. But the only thing that will convince my dad is cold hard proof. He's mad at me, but if you find the dynamite and bring it to him, maybe he'll listen. If the ghost actually took it, I bet you'll find the missing dynamite somewhere in the mines. Okay. If you're looking for presents, he really likes antlers. Alright, yeah, we got that one. Got it. We can talk later. We're continuing our quest towards Tamala. Looking for butterflies along the way. Specifically rainbow tipped butterflies. So they're going to be white with a little rainbow edge along the outside of their wings. So far we haven't seen any... We haven't seen any in a while. 
We have a couple stored in inventory, just in case. But, I haven't seen any in a while. Something to kind of think about. Where is Tamala? Hopefully, alright, good, she's close. Looks like we gotta, oh, that's the, what we gotta check out for Najuma. We're not gonna do that yet. As much as I want to, I think, I think we really gotta focus on one of these. We can't run around just yet. And it'll give us some time to oh, catch up with the rest of, <laughs> the rest of everything else. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot to follow all at once, I think. There she is. Let's talk to Tamala. Here we go. Stay a while and chat. Oh, didn't see you there. Did you craft a potion of, invis of invisibility? So your beauty cream had some unexpected side effects. So there were side effects to the new batch. Well, I must say that's disappointing. I had high hopes of this one. But there's no use crying over spilled tea. I suppose I'll just have to keep calm and carry on. Is that cream magic? Magic? Why aren't you the inquisitive one? You're just a little detective, aren't you? You want to be a watcher for the order when you grow up? No. I'm trying to solve a real problem here. I can't let little things like laws against magic get in my way. Beauty is important. Yes, it is. You remind me of myself at your age. Trust me, darling. It's about as high of a compliment as I can give. Oh. And thank you for helping me with my little errands. Here's a key to my boudoir. You can stop by any time. Okay, sweet. I heard you're developing a special drought. I'm developing many droughts, darling. You need to be more specific. Uh, whichever one Zeki's interested in. Zeki says it enhances your senses. Oh. Ah, you're here at his behest. I suppose I do know which one you speak of, but I just so happened to give away my last brew. If you would like a vial of your own, you'll need to bring me a few things first. You can do that for me, can't you, darling? Of course. No doubt you noticed the order of robes in my boudoir. They belong to my grandmother. She was a potions master for them once upon a time. Till next time, darling. All right. Let's go to Tamala's. We are going to head over there. Let's search through her boudoir for the missing tome. She did say that she had it. And that uh, we could have it back. So I don't feel bad. We're not stealing it. But... I do want to see what's in here. Could be interesting. We have a little bit of time before the market. We will teleport back. So, Tamala's room. Let's check it out. Oh, read. A history. After s the order, a history. After centuries of war, the kings and queens of Palea's feudal monarchies united to form the First Council. The First Council divided Palea into 13 states, each ruled by its own king, queen, or elected counselor. It was during the early formation of the Republic that the First Council outlawed the use of magic, with the exception of usage by the Order itself and the independent state of Umbra. Really, the state of Umbra. The United Order of the Paleo Republic was formed to govern the use of magic and prevent further war from breaking out. The Order answers only to the Inner Circle and the Grand Council, along with its appointed Grand Luminary. Luminary. Order Luminaries, Nia, Jebron, Yazik, Saadi, Amani, Omar, Nara, Gioni, Erwin. Okay. Hmm. 
Interesting. A mind on reality. A treasy. I think that's the one Solari wanted. Oh, there's another book. Uses of the silver wing. The egg of the silver wing has many uses, but when combined with beeswax and heat root, it can form a drought that can keep a wide number of curses at bay. It's also used in flight and illusion spells. Okay. Tamala, this is the last time I warn you. You know that experience that experimenting with youth, youth spells is strictly forbidden. One more slip up and you'll be promptly excommunicated from the order. Amani. Amani was one of the uh, names in the head of the order there. If I remember right. Amani. Right here, maybe. That was a long time ago. Um, that's an interesting letter. Where are her order robes? I don't see them in here. Am I crazy? I think that is everything. I don't think there's much else in here for us to read or see. So let's return back. We might be horribly inefficient, but that's okay. Let's, because we do have to get going. Let's find, there was a fast travel point right there. We are going to head that way and see if we can um, get to the Maji Market, because that's going to start in about 30 minutes. So she needs a heat root, heat root, bright shroom, a lunar fairy moth, and an enchanted pup fish. Interesting. So the pup fish we might have. We'll have to see. That actually might be easy to get. Lunar Fairy Moth is really easy. We get that at night. We just have to not be at the Maji Market for it. <laughs> the Bright Shroom we have plenty of. And everything else we should be good. Let's go to the fairgrounds. We are about a few seconds off, so, but that's okay. We're close. We are close. Yep, there we go. Lights are turning on. People should be walking up here soon. There they are. Now, Zeki had something for us. Is he standing over here yet? Nope. No, he is not. Curious to see what is in his store. This is all the wallpapers. I did, I did want to pick up the wallpaper because I wanted to see what all we had. So we're gonna pick up all the wallpapers first. I think we're gonna we're gonna do it. So let's buy those. I do want this basket. All right, we're gonna get the one, two, three. Four, five, six, and then I will pick up the basket just because we like decoration items. Big spender. And we just completed the big spender with all of our envelopes. That got us to 16. All right. Bonnie's right here. Go on a big adventure? I already delivered your mail, but if you want to chat, I'm all ears. Got any idea what you're going to spend your lucky envelope money on? I'm spending mine on explosives. Don't tell my mom I said that. I promise you'll come back. Now, Zeki had something for us. There he is. He wanted to talk to us here. Did we get any... Oh, we did. We got seven prize wheel coins. We will talk to Zeki first, maybe. Mm, maybe not, I was gonna talk to him by his wheel. But I guess we'll talk to him here. Oh, What's up, buddy? isn't Killerman's newest entrepreneur. Uh-huh. Can't you see I'm a little busy over here? You wanted to talk. Hmm? Uh... Did you hear me? 
Es ist... Hm? Hm? A smile would be nice. We're gonna stick with the fire. Not in a smile, but my life, pal. Aww. Sorry, it ain't like me to be this moody. Guess this cat just woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Had a tough time sleeping last night. Kept waking up constantly and having these weird dreams. Wow. Mm. I can still hear all of that boiling lava if it's too quiet for too long. You must have some crazy dreams. Oh, you have no idea, pal. The timing can be worse. I'm supposed to be in a festive mood right now. Man, I sure hope these dreams don't mean I'm in for some bad luck this year. What was your dream about? I can't remember it all, but I've got bits and pieces here and there. Let me tell you, pal, it was a disaster if I ever seen one. I was enjoying a nice walk when, bam, the stars started exploding. Of course, I started running for my life, had to jump over boiling lava and claw my way through a bunch of thorny vines. When I finally got to the other side, there was this huge windstorm and papers were flying everywhere and getting stuck in my fur. To make matters worse, some of them were wet, so my fur got all damp too. Oh no. You don't have fur, so you wouldn't know, but it's like wet socks. But if those socks were stuck all over your body, including your face, ugh. That's my worst nightmare. Thanks, I totally needed to imagine that. <laughs> Worst nightmare. It's everybody's, trust me. I don't know about you, but whenever I get crazy dreams like that, I'm completely wiped out the next day. Like, deader than the preserved tuna in my pantry. Oh no. I keep nodding off when I'm not supposed to, and every time I close my eyes, I keep seeing all that stuff from my dreams. It's gotta be a sign. From who? The Chimera? Dunya? I doubt it. She may she may be to us what Maji is to Majri, but she ain't ever been the type to guide us. <sighs> seriously though, these little visions I'm getting are seriously wearing me out. I feel like they're trying to tell me something, but I don't know what. Someone else might. Yeah, yeah there's gotta be somebody out there who can figure out all this mumbo jumbo. Don't mind if you ask around and see what folks think. Just promise not to tell anyone it's my dream you're talking about to them. Talking to them about. Got it? Got it. Let's circle back soon. Let's do it. Shane. Guess what, buddy? We got a chat. Everyone's going to hold you here. I always have time for a friend. Kilima Village is a welcome place for all. Hey, could you interpret this dream for me? Yes, of course. I may not have all the right answers, but I'll certainly try my best to offer additional insight. Let's tell him about Zeki's dream. I see. Well, some believe that dreams are a form of wish fulfillment. Perhaps there's something lacking in our lives, or simply something that we desire strongly enough to manifest them in our unconscious state. Many also believe that what we see in our dream state is the reality of an alternate form of ourselves, perhaps one that resides in a parallel world. Some Majri even believe that Maji himself occasionally visits us in our sleep, offering guidance when we need it most. I realize I have deviated from the matter at hand. I do apologize for that, Phoenix's child. It's okay. This is interesting stuff. Indeed, I have always found dreams to be fascinating occurrences. If I recall, Delilah has kept a dream journal in the past for the purpose of interpreting what she's experienced. Perhaps she would offer much deeper insight than myself. Ah, okay. your presence has been a gift. Let's talk to Delilah. Oh, looks like... Nizuma, Delilah, oh, everyone's got an opinion. Let's talk to Nizuma first. We'll, we'll run around in a Delilah next. It's kind of nice seeing more people around here. Could you interpret this dream for me? Mm -hmm. Um, I could try, but I don't know if I'd be any good at it. Well, the first thing I thought of when I heard exploding stars was a star shower. Yeah. 
Or, oh, or maybe fireworks. Those look like exploding stars, don't they? As for lava, definitely something hot and bubbly. Maybe like a hot spring? Oh, maybe the dream is about soaking in a hot spring while watching falling stars. Not really sure what soggy paper has to do with anything, though. Oh. Hey. Can I help you with something? Could you interpret this dream for me? No. Oh, all right. Keep your wits about you. Thanks for the help. Lost well, Delilah in a minute. Let's talk to Reth. Reth will give a talk to us about soup. Well, Reth won't talk to us about anything. Okay. Ash, can the you help? The of rule weighs heavy today. I have things to tend to. Best make your case quickly. Could you interpret this dream for me? Uh. Does it look like I have the time for such nonsense? Mind you, the Maji market won't operate itself. That was not as boring as I thought it would be. What about Kenley? Where's Kenley? Oh, Kenyatta! Kenyatta! Help us out, girl. There must be more to life. Today just seems to drag on and on. How do you stand it? Could you interpret this dream for me? Yeah. Not like I have anything better to do. Huh. Exploding stars, boiling lava, and soggy paper. Sounds like a party gone wrong. Or right. <laughs> it does. Whoever had this dream must be thinking about going off and having a good time. Wish I could do that right now, but I'm running this booth instead. <sighs> See you later. All right. Let's talk to Delilah. Tish doesn't have anything. I don't think Ken Oh, Kenley's over here. Let's go talk to Kenley. I did want to find him. There he is. Oh, my day was terribly stressful. Good until to see you arrived. Good to see you. I hope you're having a wonderful Luna New Year. Could you interpret the stream for me? Mm. Why, of course. I'm glad you asked. Oh, exploding stars, boiling lava, soggy paper. How utterly terrifying. And I thought Ash was scary when she doesn't have her early morning tea. Please, heed my warning, Cozy Kami. A dream like this only spells disaster. That reminds me of the terrifying ordeal I had the other night. Would you like to hear about it? Sure. Excellent. I was hoping to find someone to talk to, talk about it to. I dreamt that I was wandering through the dark halls of the estate, cold, lonely, and worst of all, hungry for a midnight snack. As I searched desperately for a way, for the way to the kitchen, I realized I was being followed by a lovely little choppa. Aww. Except it was no ordinary choppa. It was floating, and it was missing its eyes. Oh, the horror. Eek. I ran away in a fright, desperate for a way out. He was close behind me the entire time, taunting me and judging me, even though he could not see me. Before I knew it, I was in my garden, surrounded by everyone from the village. I was so relieved to see their faces, until they all pointed at me and laughed. That's when I realized I was in my underwear. No wonder it was so breezy. I woke up on the kitchen floor, covered in sweat, but thankful I had pants on. <laughs> I oh. suppose I could get back to work. Poor Ken. Poor Kenley. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Delilah, let's talk. I can always make room at the table for one more. You're out so late, poor dearie. Come in and tell old Auntie Delilah what's the matter. Could you interpret this dream for me? Of course, dearie. Back in the day, I used to keep a dream log just for that reason. It was always a lot of fun deciphering my dreams. Oh. I see. For starters, the exploding stars could mean repressed feelings or emotions that just want to, ju that want to just burst out. Oh. As for the lava, well, same thing. Strong feelings bubbling up to the surface. Oh. And the soggy paper, that's an odd one. Maybe a feeling of being weighed down by something? Maybe old memories? Forgot how fun it was to interpret dreams like this. Hopefully that was helpful to you in some way, dearie. Thank you. I need to work on me jam recipes. 
Let's go back to Zeki. Hey, we got... Or we can go back to... No, looks like we're going back to Shane? Who are we talking to? Who's next? Mm -hmm. uh, inventory. Quests. And this is a new year to remember. Let's get rid of fishing for answers and let's grab a new year to remember. Who are we going to? Oh! Find the meaning of the exploding stars. Find the meaning of the boiling lava. Find the meaning of the soggy paper. Hmm. So, I thought we talked to everyone. I've been hearing good Shane things again. about you lately. Yep. All things in balance, my friend. Hmm. Do we need to talk to Delilah again? Maybe Rath? Care to try my world famous soup? Okay. What's up? Could you interpret this dream for me? Hmm. Sure. Just so you know, I'm an expert at dream interpretations. Whoa. Whoa. Exploding stars, boiling lava, and soggy paper? Sounds like a fun time. Thanks for the invite. <laughs> oh, I'm just messing with you. That sounds like a pretty crazy dream. Hmm. You know what they say. What you see in your dreams are things you desire. Don't know why anyone would want all of those things, though. Unless... Unless... Huh? Things aren't as they seem. Maybe we're looking at things upside down. You know what I mean? What? Hmm, let's see. Exploding stars? Ooh, maybe fireworks. Oh. Boiling lava? A pot of my delicious lettuce soup? Or a hot pot? And soggy paper. This one's got me stumped, not gonna lie. Maybe you could try asking around about that. I got my hands full right All now. Alright, well we figured out the boiling up. What about paper? I've but been true. thinking of you. Nope. May your but gardens be weed free. Oh, Kenley. Kenley. I do so enjoy our little distractions. So good to see you. I hope you're having a wonderful Lunar New Year. So what comes to mind when I say soggy paper? <gasps> Disaster. On a scale that's unfitting for me to speak of during such a joyous celebration as a Lunar New Year. I'm sorry, Kikami, but we must not speak of this again. At least not until the New Year is over. Looking okay. forward to our next conversation. Well, that didn't help. Let's try Ash. Ash? Soggy paper? Uh, I've been in dire need of stimulating conversation. I do what I can to keep the village safe and healthy. But, and happy, sorry. But sadly, I'm only one woman. What comes to mind when I say soggy paper? Hmm. Are you seriously pestering me again with that nonsense? <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I will not indulge in your silly questions. I have urgent business to take care of. I need to go for that noise complaint. Bummer. Mm. Do you have anything? Fishing is also no. stopped by my game anytime. I wonder if we talk to... Let's talk to... Oh, Hudari. Delilah? Nezuma. Here we go. It's kind of nice seeing more people around here. What comes to mind when I say soggy paper? Oh, were you trying to figure, still trying to figure that part of the dream out? Mm hmm. What well, think about paper that's been floating in water? I find some in the bay. Find some in the bay once in a while. Nice. Now that I think about it, I dealt with wet paper recently when I was dipping my wish ribbons in the colored dye. They didn't exactly get soggy though, so I don't know if that counts. Uh, Maybe. Oh, I think we found it. Return to Ref. Let's talk to I Delilah. I can always make room at the table for one more. What comes to mind when I say soggy paper? Ooh. Was my first interpretation not enough for you, dearie? Oh, I'm just kidding. I'd be glad to give you another perspective. Hmm. Soggy paper. If not something metaphorical, maybe you could stand for something more little, literal. Wait a minute. I had my hands on some wet paper that not that long ago. That's right. It was the wish ribbons. Those are the only soggy papers I can think of. Arnie looks up to you. Make okay. sure to set a good example. I got a no last time. You talking to me? What comes to mind when I say soggy paper? Exactly that. Soggy paper. See you around. <laughs> You're no fun, Hodari. Let's go talk to Rath. I like Rath. Oh, no, nope. it's really good to see you. Like Joe would say, ta ta. Rath. Hey, you. So, how's life? The soggy paper represents wish ribbons. Oh, wish ribbons. Well, that makes a ton of sense. 
So we got fireworks, hot pot, and wish ribbons. Looks like this stream was about the Lunar New Year. Yeah, I think you're right. Man, I'm a genius. Maybe I should consider a ch career change and become a dream interpreter. I'll do my readings over a pot of lettuce soup. <laughs> Gotta go. Uh, cooking emergency. We love the lettuce soup. All right, let's talk to Zeki. Zeki, we figured it out, buddy. What's happened? Uh... Got something interesting to tell me? I deciphered the meaning of what you saw in your dream. <clears throat> really? That was quick. So, what are the exploding stars all about? Hmm. <laughs> Fireworks. Fireworks, eh? Guess that'll that adds up. Uh... Moving on then. What about that boiling lava? What's the big deal with that? Hmm. Your feelings bubbling up to the surface. I like that one. Yeah. Are you trying to say I bottle up my emotions until they're ready to boil over? Because I sure do. Guess we know what lava means. Last but not least, what's the soggy paper mean? Ooh. They're wish papers. Uh, but wish papers ain't wet. Oh, wait. Technically, they are when you dip them in that super colorful dye. You've painted a pretty big picture for me. I'm finally seeing how it all fits together. Just kidding. I'm even more confused than I was before. Tell Zeki the true interpretation of his dream. Fireworks, hot pot, and wish paper. Sounds familiar. What? I didn't say hot pot. But I can't quite put my claw in it. Take a look around you. Oh, well, what do you know? It looks like we got all that here. Guess what? I guess I've been spending so much time caught up in Luna New Year that I, it showed up in my dreams, too. <sighs> Is everything alright? Yeah, it's just that this Luna New Year stuff really brings me back to the good old days. Things were simpler when I was a kitten. How so? It was nice not having to worry about things, you know? Like debt and what to eat for dinner every night. When we were kids, our parents usually take care of all that hard, boring stuff for us. Then we get old and we're off on our own. Not gonna lie. I miss my ma, my pops too, and the rest of my stinking litter mates. Even that toy hogger Zareth. Zara. <laughs> Haven't seen them in a long time. You should reach out to them. I could, but don't know if any of them would respond. It ain't because we got bad blood between us or anything, but we Grimalkerns aren't exactly known to be close to our families. <clears throat> Once we're weaned off our mothers, we get shipped off to start working for people. We ain't, it ain't uncommon for us to incur lots of debt that we spend our whole lives trying to pay off. We're taught to be self-sufficient from a young age, so we learn not to rely on anybody but ourselves. Not our parents, not our littermates, and most certainly not Chimera Dunya. Who's Dunya? Done your business, get it? None your business. Worked better the first time I said it, huh? It did. Dunya's like our dragon. She's a lot more like the tough love type, though. Kinda like my ma. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want wonder how they're all doing. My uh family, I mean. Especially my old man. If he's still alive and kicking. Out of the two of them, my pops was definitely the one to spoil us. He'd take us out all the time and sneak us little presents when my ma wasn't looking. There was this one time he brought us out late at night just to look at the moon. Luna, to be exact. Yeah. Boy, was it a sight to behold. She was shining real bright like a giant lucky coin in the sky. I climbed up on my pa's shoulder and tried to grab it. Almost had it in my paws till that jerk Zara pushed me off so she could get a better view. <laughs> What a, that wasn't very nice of her. Right? She's always picking on the rest of us just because she was the first one our ma popped out. Thought everything she touched was hers and only hers, including our parents. I was young and clumsy, so I fell right into my butt. Right onto my butt. And did it hurt? I uh, may have shed a couple of tears. My pa couldn't get me to stop wailing, so he brought us all to the Lunar New Year Festival that was going on nearby. <clears throat> And that's where I saw it, one of the prettiest things I ever laid eyes on. A wish tree, filled with colorful little lanterns and wish ribbons. 
The waterfall immediately stopped flowing from my eyes, and I asked to sit on my old man's shoulder to get a closer look. He told me that the tradition, what the tradition was all about, how people make wishes in hopes Maji or someone else will fulfill them. But like I told you before, we Grimalkins don't believe in making wishes, except for my pa. He was never the type to follow rules. Like you? Hey, I'm plenty good at following the rules. When I want to. Being the rebellious cat that he was, my old man let us make wishes, as long as we promised not to tell our ma. Yeah. So I made one, and I dipped it in the colorful dye and everything. Got, got it all over my paws, but it was worth it. What'd you wish for? To experience the Lunar New Year with my family again? Well, that never happened, so I guess Maji didn't see my wish. Never say never. <laughs> It'd be a miracle if a wish like that ever came true. Yeah. It's alright, though. It's not like we left that festival empty-handed. Our old man bought a candy box for all us to share. I'll tell you, pal, those sweets were out of this world. They were so good that my ma forgave him for taking us out without asking her first. We all sat around at the table and ate them together, like family. <sighs> Hope they're all doing better out there than I am. I think you're doing good. They're probably thinking about you, too. Well, I am pretty unforgettable. I can't blame anybody for, ha anybody for having me on their mind. <laughs> Look at that face. Maybe all of them are celebrating Luna New Year, too, somewhere out there. Anyways, tell Shane I said hi. He keeps checking on me, and I hate to worry him. Feel free to tell him everything I told you while you're at it, too. I ain't got nothing to hide. Aww. That's enough jabber for now. Poor guy. Is Shane still over there? Can we talk to Shane? Oh, maybe we'll catch him before he leaves. Shane! Wait! I got an update for you, buddy. Having a good day so Caught far. Him. How may I be of service today? Zeki said hi. He did now. Please send him my warmest regards. Let's tell him what happened. It doesn't surprise me that Zeki shared all of that with you. I had a feeling he would open up eventually. Tell me, Phoenix's child, how does Zeki appear to be feeling at the conclusion of your, con your conversation? Sentimental. Hmm. Zeki may wear a playful and lighthearted countess most of the time, but I worry that it sometimes simply is a disguise for his true feelings. He has never been one to wear his heart on his sleeve, especially when it comes to matters that are dear to him. Is there something we can do for him? Oh. You have done more than enough for Zeki, Phoenix's child. It is time for the rest of us to remind him that he is as valued a member of our community as you and I. He cherishes the memory of enjoying a candy box with his family. Perhaps we can gift him one and fill it with kind messages from everyone here at the market. I just so happen to have one here that I have yet to open. All that is missing are the kind messages from everyone here at the Maji Market. Would you do the honors of collecting those, Phoenix's child? Leave it to me. Your kindness continues to warm my heart. Record all the messages here in this journal. Bring it back to me when you are finished and I will handle the rest. Needless to say, please do not tell Zeki about this. Some gifts are better meant to be surprises. Ah, uh, enlightening conversation, as always. Aww. We're gonna head out. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Such a good story. I'm telling you. I do love the story of this game. All the characters, really. <sighs> Man. Let's head home. So... With that, I think in our next episode, we are going to come to, we're going to come to the grand conclusion of Zeki's uh, quest. <laughs> oh man, I'm curious to see what's going to happen, but it's going to be at least another hour plus. 
And I think this episode will just run a little bit too long. So I am going to leave you a little bit on this cliffhanger. And in our next episode, we're going to collect all of the sentiments and all of the well wishes for Zeki and hopefully conclude um, the Maji Market celebrations, or at least the quest line. So with that, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for joining me this, uh, this evening. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content as it greatly helps out my channel. Hope to see you soon!